I first found the Brime genus of mosses on a beach along Lake Winnipeg, one of the largest lakes in the world. A pocket of sand was precariously perched between a few large rocks, and growing in that sand was a bed of moss. I brought it home without knowing what to expect. What resulted was some of the most surprising and diverse footage I had ever scanned. It, along with the juniper haircat moss, marked my foray into a magical and ancient world. There are many faucets to these Brian mosses that make them distinctive. The first that I notice is the verdant green coloration of the mosses, which is made even more fascinating by the intricate texture created by each one's morphology. The mosses are growing in a substrate of sand. Its uneven thickness translates into a cascading animation, whereby the thin areas dry out before the other ones do. The wavering gesture each moss makes during this process almost makes it seem as if each one is waving goodbye to the lush pasture it was once a part of. Almost, but not quite. Most mosses have the special property of being cryptobiotic. This means that as they're drying out, they make preparations to be revived when water is available again. As you can see in this shot, Brian mosses aren't the only plants punctuating the landscape. Golden saxifrage grows in large numbers here. Its interesting leaf shape serves as a stark contrast to the relative simplicity of the moss leaves. Clusters of leaves provide composition to the otherwise homogeneous bed of mosses. In a similar vein, the leaves of these grasses also create beautiful compositional structure. These crane fly larvae, or leather jackets, are ubiquitous here. Watch them burrow under and eat the brine mosses. It's kind of cute how they eat these golden saxifrage leaves. There seems to be a veritable colony of spiders living here. This spider looks like it's trapped. This bed of mosses taught me that the non-botanical actors in my time-lapse footage can also be engrossing. Because sand doesn't hold together as well as soil, a unique process begins to happen as the substrate dries out. Grains of sand begin to fall, creating patterns on the scanner glass. Take a look at the following instances. Another dimension is added as insects leave tracks in the fallen sand. <laughs> 